It's time for Orchard CMS. Incorporating automation into an end-to-end -end software development pipeline improves consistency and efficiency. Implementing continuous integration and continuous delivery is essential for productivity. So let's get started by creating a CI-CD pipeline for an Orchard Core CMS web application using Azure DevOps. Welcome back to Orchard Core CMS. So let's get started by creating a CI-CD pipeline for an Orchard Core CMS web application using Azure DevOps. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the Azure Marketplace. So you go to the portal.azure.com and then go to the Marketplace and that's right here. And then what you want to do is type in DevOps project right there. And let's go ahead and create a DevOps project. So what we want to do is select .NET first, hit next, and then ASP.NET Core, hit next. And I always like a Linux web application. Hit next. And then we put our project name in. So let's go ahead and use our trusty My Orchard Core CMS and all those other things like your organization, your subscription, those will get filled in for you. And let's see, let's try, let's try Central US, let's give that a try. And then we just hit done. And that will go ahead and start the deployment process of the DevOps. Your deployment is underway. So this will take a few minutes. So go grab a cup of coffee. So let's go to the resource. Then we can go to dev.azure.com on the other side and see how that's doing. So we start. And here's our My Orchard Core CMS. And let's look at pipelines. So let's see, it's still going to the continuous integration. And it's in the build process. Now it's in the test process. Now it's in the publish process. Now it's publishing unit tests, copying the Azure Research Manager templates. And so now we're done with the CI part. So now let's look at um, the release. Click on that. Oh, no release yet. There it is. Click on that. Now the errors you're seeing are, I believe, a bug in Azure, and they are working on that. I looked that up and on Stack Overflow, and that's what they told me. So, okay, it's zipping up the deployment, and there we go. So let's go ahead, and it looks like it was successful. So let's go back here and sure enough, it's running. So we created a whole complete pipeline through Azure DevOps. So let's go ahead and browse to the site. There you go. So now we've got an ASP.NET application that Microsoft created for us. Let's go ahead and use our GitHub account 
and select an Orchard Core web application. And let's go ahead and click on my Orchard Core CMS. Okay, so we can see that the pipelines, both the CI and CD were successful. So let's go ahead and go into the pipelines. And here's the CI pipeline. So let's go ahead and click on that. And let's go edit. Okay. So one thing we want to do is it's currently using the repository in Azure DevOps. Let's go and tell it to use a, a GitHub repository. So we just click on our Git sources and we select a GitHub. And then we can click to authorize and it goes through the authorization. And then we can look for a repository, which is, let's do my Orchard Core CMS. Select that. Use the master branch, and there we go. So now restore, go there. One of the things we want to do is we want to use uh, my get configuration, right? So let's go click on that, and it'll go out, and there, let's go ahead and select our new get.config. Okay. Build step, that nothing needs to be there. Test, we don't need that anymore, so we can go ahead and um, remove that. Publish, um, that's okay. We don't have any tests, so let's go ahead and remove that. We don't need any runs, so go ahead and remove that. And we don't, we're not creating any new services, so let's go ahead and remove that. And then our artifacts. So that's all set up and ready. Now let's go ahead and just save that. And we just say continue. So now we've configured our CI pipeline. So now let's configure our CD pipeline. So let's go to releases. Um, and let's click on edit. And let's click on here. And so we don't need, okay, for here, let's go ahead and select um, Azure Pipeline. And let's go ahead and do Ubuntu 16.04. That seems to be, and then we don't need to use this here because we're not creating any more services. So we can go ahead and remove this. So remove that. And then we want to click on our Azure here, our Deploy Azure. And so here, what we want to do is we want to use 3.0. Currently, it's 2.0, so let's go ahead and change that to 3. So we want to make sure that we have .NET, my Orchard Core, CMS.web.dll. We click on our CI pipeline, and then we just say Run Pipeline and just say run and that will start the pipeline and then we can go ahead and click on this so it's checking out the code restoring our new gets Okay, we got our new gets. Now we're actually doing the build. Doing the publish step. And there we go. The CI portion is complete. So now let's go back, look at the release. And here's our release. So let's click on that and monitor that. And we are deploying to Azure.
and there we go. Looks like it deployed everything. So let's go. So let's go ahead and select marketplace, and let's go ahead and type in. SQL database. Let's go ahead and create an SQL database. My Orchard Core CMS. Let's go ahead and configure. And let's go ahead down. Select basic. So it'll cost us five dollars a month, which is good. Let's hit apply that. All right, so let's go ahead and and create so now we're deploying our SQL database so now our deployment is released so let's go to resource and there's our SQL database and we want to make sure we set the firewall and we want to allow Azure services and research to access this. So turn it on, which is OK. Save. Let's go find our connection string. Copy that. Okay, so let's go back home. Let's go to Devop Projects and let's select on My Orchard Core CMS. And let's go browse to the site. My Electric Core CMS service is a blog. And let's use Denver. So let's go ahead and select the SQL server. And let's add that connection string. Admin. Let's hit finish setup. And there we go. We've got our blog all set up. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to admin. And we'll go ahead and log in. And there's our dashboard, all ready to enter our content and do all the wonderful things with Orchard Core. To summarize, we see now how easy it is to take an Orchard Core web application and deploy it to Azure using a CI CD pipeline in Azure DevOps. Now, if you missed or didn't understand anything, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There's also a GitHub repository with a complete source code. All the information is in the video description. If you liked the video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.